Hello dear students, I welcome you all to my channel. So let us continue our series of questions on exercise 14a, chapter number 14, that is linear equations in one variable. Okay, so the first question for the day is going to be my question number 18. Okay, so here we need to find the value of x by simplifying this particular equation. Okay, so let us see how to simplify this equation. Okay, now here we have been given x minus 5 whole square. Okay, so if you know the formula for a minus b whole square, then you can directly put the formula out here. Okay, but if you don't know the formula, then what we can do here is, we can write x minus 5 whole square as x minus 5 into x minus 5. Okay, similarly this x plus 2 whole square can be written as x plus 2 into x plus 2. Okay, so that's what we can do. Okay. Now we know that how to multiply two terms like this, okay. So we will multiply term by term, isn't it? So for example here, if you see only this part, it means that you will multiply this next part by only x, that is x into x plus x minus 5, right. We have got minus 5 now, so minus 5 into the rest of the thing, that is x minus 5, right. Okay, so we have got minus sign, so minus sign is kept outside. So we have this x into x plus 2, right? So we have got plus 2 here. So plus 2 into x plus 2 here, all right? So equals to minus 2 is there, okay? Now we can multiply with the term which is lying outside the bracket. So we have got x. So let us multiply with x. So we have x into x is x square minus x into 5 is 5x, all right? Similarly, as you can see, there is a minus sign outside. So you have to change the sign which is there inside the bracket, okay. So we have 5 into x is 5x and the sign will be minus. Similarly, this minus becomes plus and 5 into 5 is 25, okay. So we have x squared minus 5x, from here minus 5x and from here plus 25, okay. Similarly, we we'll, from here we will get x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4 equals to minus 2. Okay, you can simplify this further. So here we have got x square minus 5x and minus 5x is total minus 10x, right? Okay, similarly you have 2x plus 2x is 4x, okay? Fine. Now let us open up the bracket. So outside here we have got no sign. If there is no sign then there has to be plus, okay? So we don't have any problem if there is a plus sign outside, okay? So this will be kept as it is. Okay, but here we have got minus. So that's why whatever signs are there here, everything will get changed. Okay, so we get x square minus 10x plus 25 and here it becomes minus x square minus 4x minus 4 equals to minus 2. Okay, so x square and minus x square gets cancelled here. Okay, minus 10x and minus 4x is how much? It is equals to minus 14x, right? And similarly 25 minus is 21 right so we have minus 14x plus 21 equals to minus 2 now our work is very simple here right so let us take this 21 over there so it becomes minus 21 so minus 2 minus 21 is minus 23 now we need to find the value of x take this minus 14 to the denominator so we get this much so here minus and minus can be cancelled all right so if minus and minus gets cancelled so we have x equals to 23 by 14 all right so this is my answer for this particular question. So you may pause the video to note down. Okay, let us see the next question, question number 20. So in this question, we need to again find the value of x. Okay, so this is given to us. Now in this case, what we are going to do is we will find the LCM. All right. And the LCM of the denominators, it's very simple. Okay, so the LCM will be this into this okay so that's all will be your lcm okay so lcm is founded now what you generally see this is a fraction and this is also a fraction and you are subtracting two fractions right okay so you know the rule so first you take the lcm of denominators as we have taken here and the next thing what you do is you will divide the lcm by the by the denominator so if you divide this lcm by denominator that is x plus 6 so x plus 6 and x plus 6 is cancelled, so only x plus 5 will be left, right? So whatever is there, that number has to be multiplied with this, right? So we have 3x into 
x plus 5 here okay so 3x plus 3x into x plus 5 is kept here so we have got minus sign here so here we will write minus now next thing is we have to divide the lcm by x plus 5 okay so when you divide this lcm by x plus 5 then x plus 5 and x plus 5 gets cancelled so what will be left only x plus 6 will be left okay so x plus 6 into x is x into x plus 6 hope the thing is clear to you okay so we have got this equals to 2 here okay now let us open up the bracket and you by now you must be quite familiar with the multiplication of such things okay now i am not going to show how to multiply this all right so we have 3x into x is 3x square plus 3x into 5 is 15x right so 3 in 3 into 5 is 15 and we have got x as well so it will be 15x so again we have got minus so x into x into x is x square minus x into 6 is minus 6x all right and here as i've told you so you will verify this by yourself it's very easy if you see here, x into x is x square x into 5 is 5x right so 6 into x is 6x 6 into 5 is 30 okay so it's very simple here now let us simplify this further we have got 3x square we have got minus x square so it's going to be 2x square right and 15x minus 6x is how much it is plus 9x okay so in the numerator we are going to have 2x square plus 9x whole divided by x square how much is this it is 11x plus 30 equals to 2 okay now do the cross multiply so take this over there so 2 into this will be there open up the bracket so you will get this much right okay so take everything out there keep only 60 here okay so this comes over here becomes minus 2x square this 22x comes here becomes minus 22x so 2x square and minus 2x square they get cancelled so what do we have now 9x minus 22x so what will be this much equals to so this will be equals to minus 13x and minus 13x is equals to 60 right so from here the value of x turns out to be this minus 13 goes over there in the denominator and my value for x will be minus 60 by 13 all right so you may pause the video to note down okay let me take the next question i'm taking question number 23 for you okay so here we need to find the value of x okay so again as i said we need to find the lcm of the denominators okay so we have got uh, in the left hand side only this much right so in the left hand side we will find lcm of only this and this similarly in the right hand side we have got this and this okay so in the right hand side we will find the lcm of this and this only okay so let us take the left hand side so the lcm is very simple as i said earlier so this will be x minus 1 into x okay and now we will divide this lcm by this term right so divide this by x minus 1 so x minus 1 and x minus 1 gets cancelled so what is left now only x is left so x into 1 is x all right okay so we have got minus so we will get x minus okay so divide this by x now okay so when you divide so x and x gets cancelled so only x minus 1 will be left so x minus 1 into 1 is x minus 1 so that's what we get in the left hand side okay so we have got here lcm will be x plus 3 into x plus 4 now divide this lcm by x plus 3 so x plus 3 and x plus 3 gets cancelled and x plus 4 will be left so we have x plus 4 into 1 is x plus 4 minus okay so minus will come so again divide this lcm by x plus 4 x plus 4 and x plus 4 they will get cancelled so we'll get x plus 3 so x plus 3 into 1 will be x plus 3 so that's what we get in the right hand side now our job is to multiply the necessary terms and open up the bracket okay so for example here if i open the bracket so since there is minus so everything will become opposite sign okay similarly here open up the bracket okay so you'll get here this minus will change all this sign and becomes minus here minus here okay so here this minus is x and this x gets cancelled similarly this x and minus x gets cancelled so from here we get this much isn't it now you can do again cross multiplication so one into this remains this much itself and 
x minus 1 into x into 1 will be this much itself. That means I will get this much. Now open up the bracket by multiplication, you will get this much, right? Okay. So take everything over there and take only number over there because we want to find the value of x. So all the x has to be in the left hand side and only the numbers will be in the right hand side. Okay, so this plus 12 becomes minus 12 here. This x square becomes minus x square. This minus x becomes plus x. Okay, x square and minus x square gets cancelled. So we have 7x plus x, which is 8x, right? So 8x is equals to minus 12. This plus 12 goes over there, there and becomes minus 12. And from here, what is the value of x? The value of x turns out to be 12 by 8. This 8 goes to the denominator, right? So we can cancel here with 4, right? So 4 to the 8, 4 3 is 12. So my answer is going to be minus 3 by 2. All right. So you may pause the video to note down. So your homeworks are question number 19 and question number 19 and 18. Both are similar. So you can have a look at question number 18 in order to question number 19. And 21 and 22 are based on question number 20 and 23. Okay. So today we'll do only this much. Thank you very much.